today, we're gonna make jalapeno wine. We'll cook them on the grill. I'm already cooking a, a pork loin on there. It won't affect it. I'm gonna put them all over here. You cook these. Then you wanna pull the skin off, take the seeds out of them. It's just a little over a pound. We're gonna make a one gallon bottle of wine. So, I'd say pound per gallon. I'm gonna use a pound of sugar also. So, spring water, jalapenos, sugar, and yeast. Keep them rotating. Get them good and cooked. All right, <clears throat> now we're just gonna let them roast. Let them get soft up here on this rack. Let them roast up there. Got it about 250 up in here. About 250 degrees. It don't take long. If you look, you can see that skin peeling. See that skin? That's what we want to do. This is cold water. Toss them in here. We're gonna cool them down. After they cool down, we're gonna, we're gonna pull this skin off. See that? Let them cool down some. I'm gonna eat that one. That one's mine. Alright, once they cool down, I'm going to try and peel all that skin off that you can. You're probably not going to get every bit of it, but get most of what you can. Dip it back under. Yeah. Let it come off. Keep dipping it back under until it comes off. That's about what you want right there. It's the secret. They do this when you make salsa too. If you're gonna make good salsa, I got a Mexican aunt and some Mexican cousins. They taught me the secret. That's what you wanna do with these jalapenos. You get that skin off of them. it that way scrape it get that membrane out of there 
those seeds. That's what you want. Just keep doing that until you get them all done. This shit here is garbage. Like I said, you could use that if you want to want it to be super super hot. I just like the flavor and I like a little bit of spice. But that's good right there. We'll come back to you when all this shit's done. All right. You got your one gallon carboy, or you could use a milk jug. It don't fucking matter. Put all your jalapenos in there. Shit. I'm gonna tell y'all a secret. Mexican secret. My aunt, she had a she had an old man, and uh, he never once the whole time she's with him. He he was Mexican. He never got sick. Not one time in his life. He never had the flu. Never had a cold. He woke up every day and he ate a raw jalapeno. Not cooked, but just a little raw, crunchy jalapeno like these were before I cooked them. Every morning. His whole entire life. He never once. She said he never once had the flu. He never once had a cold. He was never sick ever. It's because... Jalapeno has more vitamin C than a whole bag of oranges. I could be wrong. I mean, but that's what she used to say. If I'm wrong, fuck off. If I ain't, cool beans. <laughs> I'm just saying, this motherfucker never got sick. And she never got sick, neither. But, that's the old Mexican secret. Now, your butthole might fucking commit suicide after about two weeks of eating a jalapeno for breakfast. Besides that... Vitamin C. I'll go back to you. We need a gallon of spring water and we need a pound of sugar. But I'm going to cook the sugar so I can speed up the process. You speed up the process, you dissolve the sugar, you cook the sugar with a little bit of water, make a syrup. So we need one pound of water, or we need one pound of sugar cooked with some water put in here then we'll fill it up to the gallon mark and then we'll put our yeast in jalapeno wine motherfucker all right so now you want to make a simple syrup you want to use spring water so go get some spring water don't use anything else Anytime you brew wine or beer or anything good, use spring water. Just some sugar, just regular old cane sugar. Now, if you uh, if you don't have a scale, a pound of sugar is two and a quarter cups. I got a scale, but I already know how much measuring out the mass is. Two and a quarter cups. There's two. There's a quarter. You don't have to measure the water. You just want the, the sugar good and good amount of liquid. I'd say about, about a third to half a pot. A pot that size. And turn it on high heat. Don't walk away from it. Stir it till it's dissolved. And then we'll add it to our wine. Once it starts rumbling, you're going to want to turn your heat off. You can let it go longer if you want to, but to me, that's dissolved enough. Really, you don't have to do this. You could just put your sugar in your carboy without doing this, and it'll still work, but we're speeding up that process. 
All right, so. You got your airlock, pull it out. It's your funnel. Spilled a little bit, it'll be all right. And you want to add the rest of that gallon. Actually, I'm gonna let that linger. I'm gonna let that soak into them jalapenos before I add that water. I'm gonna let it cool down. You want to let it cool down before you put your yeast in anyways. So you want to get your yeast in there while it's, it's a little bit room temperature-ish. So I'm gonna let that mellow for a minute. I'll come back to you when we're adding the rest of this gallon. While we're waiting on that to cool down, <clears throat> we're gonna pitch our yeast. I know I should have did this first thing, but I had to run to the store and get some spring water and do some other shit. So I'm doing it now. And this is the kind of yeast you want to use if you're going to brew anything acidic. 71B. And you want to pitch it when it's between 95 and 98.6 degrees. You can see that, or 35 to 37 Celsius. This water, I heated it up, some of that spring water in the microwave. I got a thermometer, it's right, in, right under 98 degrees. Get it in there, stir it up, let it sit. But don't let it sit for longer than a half hour unless you add some sugar into here. All I do is I let it sit for about five minutes. It starts to rise and then I add it to the wine. But remember that if you're brewing anything acidic, lemons, jalapenos, anything with acid, you want that 71B. All right, we got the rest of our water in here. That's cooled down to room temp. Take your airlock off. Got the yeast. We'll put it in there. All right, if you don't have a, a carboy, you can use any jug. You can turn that into a carboy. Going to put some water in here. Fill up your airlock about halfway. <clears throat> Let it sit. All right, now we're going to transfer this into our secondary. It's a good sign when all those uh, jalapenos float to the bottom. It usually means it's done. I want to try it. It sure does smell like jalapenos. Um, and this, this is no longer bubbling put it in my garage it's hot as balls out here and when you do that this yeast goes crazy I didn't have to put no turbo in it or none of that all I did was put it out here in the garage where it's really warm and dark and that yeast went to town so now we're gonna, we're gonna use this auto siphon we're gonna move it all right so we want to put our secondary lower and get our auto siphon Hold it in here. Don't want to go all the way to the bottom. Don't want to get that yeast stirred up. That's good right there, man. Stay right above the jalapenos. And of course, you're going to want to taste it, see how sweet it is. Most likely, I don't think it's going to be sweet at all because uh, I've let it sit and then it quit, 
you quit rumbling. Usually when it quits rumbling, that yeast ran out of food. Mm -hmm. That's what you want. That's my secondary. That's just under a gallon. There's a gallon mark. It's about right there. Pretty damn good, I think. I'm gonna let it sit for two days and I'm gonna bottle it. I'll let you know if I'm gonna re-sweeten and I'm about to taste it right now and let you know what's up. I'll videotape it. it smells like jalapenos. Good. I'm gonna want it sweet though. It's super dry. Tell there's alcohol in it. I'm gonna add some honey to that. We'll come back at you when we're bottling it. It's been all right. We're gonna bottle this now. I let it go a few more days after moving it to the secondary, and uh, it uh. It's got a lot less color in it now, but I don't care. I don't care what it looks like. Tastes like jalapenos. If you want some heat, then you're going to have to, if you want some heat, you're gonna to have to leave some seeds in. I just wanted the flavor of the jalapenos. All right, so I decided to uh, not sweeten it. I, uh, I like the way it tastes. Um, you know, I might add honey to a couple bottles. Um, I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do. But so far, this is a end product for me. Um, it's kind of like uh, drinking a jalapeno popper. You got all that flavor of jalapeno. Um, you should check it out. The one thing I didn't do that a lot of people do when they're brewing something like that is I didn't add turbo. Um, I don't think I needed it. The weather is it's so warm that that yeast went to work. That yeast went to town. Uh, um, that's my video, jalapeno wine. Check it out.